Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I have another haul, okay? Listen, I know I said a few months, yeah, a couple of months, few months ago that you will never see a haul or a declutter on this channel and things have changed and this is now my second haul. Actually, it's my third haul because I did a haul in the very, very beginning of my channel days and that was the reason why I decided not to do any hauls because everything that I bought in that haul, well, it was only three things that I did in that haul. But all of those fragrances, I no longer have in my collection because I returned them to the store. So that is why I said I won't ever do a haul. But what I should have said was, I won't do a haul unless I know that I'm 100% sure, 1000% sure that I want the fragrances. So in today's haul, I have some PR. I have actually five bottles that were sent to me from PR and seven that were purchased with my own coins, just in case you were wondering. So if you wanna know what I got, then just keep watching. Before we get started with the video please make sure you're subscribed to my channel make sure the notification bell is on so you don't miss any of my uploads thumbs up the video so i know you love my content and finally leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other now let's get started with the video so as i was saying i have a haul and no hauls aren't going to be regular on this channel because i do not buy fragrances like that i do obviously i buy a bunch of fragrances because i have pushing 300 fragrances at this point, but I still like to have my fragrances, live with them and not have to show them. But the reason why I'm doing this haul is because a lot of you guys were talking to me about certain new releases that I wanna speak about before, you know, I live with them and do my review and, you know, put them in my list videos and such. So, like I said, we're gonna start with the fragrances that were sent to me. So the first fragrance that we're gonna get to today is by Kayali and it is invite only amber 23 you guys have been seeing this fragrance all over and i'm so happy that kayali has sent me this fragrance to review and i do have an opinion about it guys there's been so much talk about this fragrance and i'm so happy and grateful to kayali for actually sending me this bottle guys i love this fragrance now i can't speak to the performance or anything like that because i haven't worn it outside the house yet it's still very very hot here and just upon smelling this fragrance this is a very sweet deep dark a resinous type of fragrance that in my opinion for me will be reserved in the fall like when it actually gets like fall fall you know like when it gets cool outside 60s and below for sure because this fragrance is definitely pungent like this fragrance is very strong just like how i love it now for me i say this fragrance smells like a cross between tom ford's santel blush and Feb Delicios by Maison Christian Dior. Now, it smells like the Feb Delicios that I can wear. Now, if you guys know this channel, you know that I own Feb Delicios. Well, I used to own Feb Delicios. I've since passed it on because for some reason, I cannot smell that fragrance anymore. I used to love it. It used to be a beautiful scent to me, but it's just, it's gotten very hard for me to wear. <laughs> so if I have a fragrance in my collection and I feel like I cannot wear, I don't even want to smell it, then I need to pass that fragrance along. So I did pass it on. Now this has that tonka bean that's very strong in it as well, but it smells different. I can stomach this one. It was getting to the point with Fev that I couldn't stomach it. Like whenever I smelled it, I would almost feel a little bit sick. So this to me is a spicy tonka bean, very resinous amber fragrance. And it reminds me of a cross between Santel Blush and Fev Delicios, but in a good way. So if you guys had Fev or you smell Fev and you don't like it, I'm telling you that I think you will like this fragrance. I'm gonna do a full review because like I said, I can't speak on the performance or anything like that just yet, but just know that it's a very sexy fragrance. Now I will say, I'm gonna say this though, that Bay smelled it and he wasn't really feeling it on me. <laughs> I just have to be honest with you. But the thing is with him, he likes more sweet fragrances. This is sweet, but it's a different type of sweet. You know what I mean? He likes fruity, sweet, playful like Delina he absolutely loves on me like fragrances like that feminine sweet fragrances like listen child we gonna talk about it okay we don't have all day because I don't want this video to be too long but just know that I love it I think it's a very pretty scent but um Bay didn't want to get invited to the party <laughs> so the next fragrance I was sent PR was by Navitas Parfums and this is Carte Blanche yeah Carte Blanche Parfum so let's open this packaging. The Navitas packaging is so beautiful, guys. I love it. And it also features the notes on the packaging. So that's really good. So here's the box. And then this flips up. And then we have the notes here and the fragrance. So let's pull this one out. 
And I did smell this, guys, because sometimes I just can't wait. So I, I did smell it, and there's, there's two of them, okay? And I'm not sure if I wasn't feeling this one or the next one. So we're about to see right now. Let me spray this card. Okay, this one, this one is pretty. I like this one. It smells a little unisex, maybe a little masculine leaning. Um, so let me tell you the notes. So this one, yeah, so carte blanche. The notes are Sicilian, bergamot, Guatemalan, cardamom. There's Italian mandarin. There's grilled almonds. There's driftwood, java, vetiver. There's Peru balsam. There's ambergris, musk. There's patchouli. There's a lot of notes in this fragrance. But this one is nice. I, I do like this one. So let's pull out the other one. And this one is called Embrace. And this is also a parfum. So let's see. Same packaging opens up the same way. Okay, so let's spray this one. Now this one says it's intense, addictive, and seductive. <sighs> see, this is very gourmand. This is very, this smells like ice cream almost. So you know what? The first time I smelled this, I wasn't feeling it. But now that I'm smelling it, like I really like it. I have to put it on my skin. But I feel like I have so many that I want to get to with you guys today. So I don't want to waste any skin because you guys know like there, there's a lot that we got to get to. And I want to spray some others on my skin. So I'm not going to spray this one on my skin. But this one has notes of bitter orange. There's honey accord. There's coffee absolute. There's Haitian vetiver. There's cedar wood. There's vanilla. This is nice. I'm going to have to play with this one a little bit more and spray this on my skin because it never smells the same on paper as it does on your skin. So we'll see. But from what I'm smelling on the paper right now, I feel like I do like it. But when I first smelled it, maybe because I was smelling too many things, but I wasn't feeling it that day. But it does smell very gourmand today and it smells like I would like it. But I got to I gotta see the jury still out on this one, okay? So this is the Embrace by Navisys Parfums. Okay, guys, so the next two fragrances were sent to me by the fragrance group and so avantgarde.com, and they're by Tiziana Terenzi. But, guys, they're not just any Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. This is from the Asoluto line. Uh, hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, please forgive me. I'm not French or Italian. I'm sorry. <laughs> guys, look at this. Look at this box. So this box looks like, you know, the typical box that Draco and Andromeda and such would come in, but it's just larger. But let's open this box, guys. And I did smell this. And I do have an opinion. <laughs> but guys, these are so... Look at this. Look at this packaging. The packaging is very similar to that of... Fragrance Dubois. Look at this. This is so gorgeous, guys. Like, I'm just, just get me with the packaging. I absolutely love it. It's a part of the entire experience. And I want the entire fragrance experience from the start to the finish. So look at this. It's so beautiful. Do you see that? And it also has a card up there. But look at that, guys. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. And this is also removable, like this inside padding, similar to the Fragrance Du Bois. Let me see. Another one that you can use as storage for jewelry or, you know, what have you. So, you know, you have this whole space here. And then, you know, you can just take that out. So let me get something to spray. And I did smell them. I did smell both of them. This one is Valorum. Guys, look at this bottle. Okay, first of all, my nails are chopped, completely chopped. My nail tech has an emergency and she cannot come in. I really need to broaden my horizons and not just stick to one tech because when they're not available, then I feel like I don't want to go to anyone else. But then I have to record videos and then I'm on here looking cray cray. But please forgive my nails. Just don't look at my nails, okay? But look at this bottle. Guys, look at the beauty of this can you see this can you see this it's so gorgeous guys it's so gorgeous now to be honest with you this is my favorite tiziana terenzi bottle i love the sea stars 
I do, and I do love the regular, you know, the tr more traditional packaging that we're used to seeing. But this right here, like this is just so special. This is gorgeous. Okay, so like I said, this is Valorum. So let's smell this one. Just gonna spray it on the card or on this little booklet. Okay. Smelling this, it smells so refined and so luxurious. But I will say this. If you have ever smelled or if you own, because this is very, guys, the price of this, this retails for $850. Now, yeah, $850. Yeah, you heard me right. Now, I'm not saying that you guys need to get this. If you have it like that and you want to purchase this, you can save 20% on soamongar.com using my 20% discount code, the great 20. But what I will say about this, if you own Lamar, not, not Lamar, if you own Dahab by Kajal, you, you really don't need this. If you own Kirk by Tiziana Terenzi, you really don't need this because this smells like a cross between Dahab and Kirk. And you guys know, I said it before, Kirk and Dahab are like, to me very very similar super super similar but the difference with this one is it smells more refined like it smells refined like it smells so well blended it's super fruity it's super fruity it's super just soft it's not a powerhouse beast mode fragrance but when i tell you it does not come off of the skin i tested this out like when i got it and i sprayed it here when i tell you like i did it right before bed i washed my hands because i do use the bathroom in the middle of the night and i washed my hands at least three or four times that night and i was still smelling it through washing my hands now i don't know if it's gonna i didn't get that it was gonna project that much do you know when you smell a fragrance and you can just tell that it's gonna project because you kind of even smell the alcohol i don't smell any alcohol in this fragrance this fragrance just feels very light to me and very almost very oily like you can even see on the can you see on the card how shiny and shimmery it is that's because of the oil this is an extra and we know that when a fragrance has more oil than alcohol it's not going to project it's not going to be beast mode it's not going to be that but this lasts forever on your skin like seriously you could even just looking at this bottle it just looks like oil like it just like the juice is very thick it's a very thick rich juice like in color and also in consistency it looks very oily and you know it leaves that oily you know film like over your skin because it is like a really high powered beautiful luxurious extract and the scent is gorgeous like i said it doesn't really smell like them but upon smelling them for me i immediately went to dahab and to kirk so because i have both of those fragrances i feel like i wouldn't have spent my money on this because you know i do have those two fragrances but because i was sent this by the fragrance group <laughs> i'm so happy that i do have this so like i was saying to you guys if you own dahab if you own kirk then this is not one that you need now if you don't own those two fragrances and you smell them and you love them or even if you didn't smell them, this is a beautiful fruity fragrance it's so beautiful guys it's like i said it smells luxurious it smells refined and i absolutely love it and this bottle this packaging is just everything like seriously like my favorite tiziana terenzi packaging thus far so let's get into the next one okay so here is the next one and this is at hill right at hill another one from the Asoluto line and this packaging guys it's so so here we have it with the card sticking up there so this is at hill look at that so gorgeous guys so so gorgeous i know what this one smells like because i told you i smelled both of them um but i'm gonna spray it again so this one right here guys like this one is so up my alley because i love anything almondy and nutty and that is what i get from this fragrance because this fragrance to me smells like a very expensive luxurious version of hypnotic poison by dior if you love a nutty fragrance <laughs> guys this is so beautiful it's so good like just smelling it like 
This one you gotta squint your eyes when you smell because it. it smells so luxurious and so refined. It's one of those, you know, you gotta, you inhale and you squint your eye. <laughs> Guys, this is Hypnotic Poison. It smells like Hypnotic Poison by Dior and it also reminds me of Lin Che by Tiziana Terenzi. If I have any like nutty girls out there, like you guys that love nutty, almondy, roasted, toasted, yummy fragrances, then you'll love this one. But like I said, this retails for $850. If you got it like that, then like I said, please use my discount code, thegreat20, and save 20% off this beautiful fragrance. This to me is for someone who doesn't have a really large collection, but you want like one or two bottles in your collection that's just like boom, pow, bang, like, you know what I mean? Or if you do have a large collection and you just wanna add to your collection, but do I think you need it? I don't think you need it, but if this is a want, you know what I mean? Like, okay, first of all, none of these fragrances are needs, right? Like none of them are needs, but this is definitely one of those luxurious purchases that you just want to splurge and spend a lot of money on perfume. And as you can see in this one, like this has the beautiful dark juice as well. And it's like another very oily, like you can see that this is like an oil guys. Like you can, I don't know if you can see it on the screen. This is right up my alley. I just, it's just so, it's just, my goodness, it's just so beautiful. So this one is at heel by Tiziana Terenzi's Asoluto line. Okay guys, so now let's get into the fragrances that I purchased with my own coins. Well, me and Bay purchased with our own coins. So let me start with this one right here. This is Perfect Intense by Marc Jacobs. Guys, I haven't purchased a Marc Jacobs fragrance in years, okay? If you guys follow this channel and you see my stories, not my story, yeah, is it stories? Not my stories, my shorts. If you see my shorts, then you would have seen me like raving over this fragrance because when I got this fragrance, I literally could not put it down. It's so good, guys. I mean, for me, it's it, it's a hard yes. Look at this. <laughs> guys, look at this. It has been decanted, but I've only decanted 10 mils out of this fragrance. The rest of it, I've just been using. <sighs> it's so good. It's so nutty. And it's like toasted and just yummy. And it's a gourmand, but it's my type of gourmand because although it smells very almondy and nutty, it still smells like perfume. Does that make any sense? And honestly, like I haven't, I did smell the original Perfect and I even have like a ton of samples of that one. But I was so disinterested in that fragrance that I don't even remember what it smells like. I just don't remember what it smells like. And when I smelled this one, I was just like, like I was reluctant. Like I was like not even wanting to smell it because the, the, the cap was just like bothering me at the time. Now I think it's absolutely gorgeous. But when I first saw the cap, I was just like, I don't want that cap. Like this is like so juvenile and you know, whatever. And I've worn Marc Jacobs like so long back in the day. But upon smelling it guys, I was just like, really? This is me. This is so me. This is definitely a designer gem. It's one that I like, I wanna have this in my collection. Like I can see me repurchasing this fragrance at least two times. Because honestly, when Macy's has another friends and family sale, I'm going to purchase another one because look at this. Like I'm almost done. Like I maybe should get the bigger bottle. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just get the larger bottle. But guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. And for fall, sexy date night, what? Obviously like I done ran through her, like seriously. <laughs> But I didn't get any notes or anything like that. But once I review this and put it in my list videos, then, you know, I'll give you more information on it. But right now, just know that I am in love with the perfect intense. So the next fragrance on the list is by Memo, and this is Marfa. And if you follow this channel, you guys know I've been telling you when I got my first three Memo fragrances. Is it three or four? I think I have three. When I got my first three Memo fragrances, um last year i've been telling you guys that i wanted to purchase marfa and i'm so happy that i did but i wanted to wait until the fall to purchase this even though look, look how pretty that is so pretty right i love this bottle although this is a floral fragrance it's a white floral fragrance it's a tuberose fragrance but guys it's a beautiful creamy tuberose and it smells warm and heavy it doesn't like honestly you probably could get away with this all year round but for me like this is a fall floral fragrance for me 
it smells like I can wear it when it's really cold. Um, it'll definitely hold up because I had samples of this last year and I wore this in the dead of winter. You know, I sampled it in the dead of winter and it performed amazing. It's beautiful, creamy tuberose. I absolutely love it and I'm so glad I finally got to add it to my memo collection. I believe I have four now, yes. It's, I either have four or five, guys. I'm not sure. But this is definitely for fall for memo. It's a white floor fragrance that I absolutely love. I love tuberose. So, you know, give me anything tuberose. I, I want it like I definitely want all the tuberose give me the tuberose okay it's a beautiful one guys and I like this bottle is this bottle cute yes yeah, so memo Marfa okay so next on the list we have perfumes de Marley guys look at this beautiful bag from the perfumes de Marley store so I purchased the new fragrance from Parfums & Marley. And guys, if you know me, I always tell you, I don't have to run out and get the like the new fragrance. Like this isn't that kind of channel. Like I will speak about things that's maybe a year, two, three years old. Like it doesn't matter to me because I'm not buying fragrances for my YouTube channel. I love you guys to death. And you guys always ask me like, oh, can you review such and such? And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, girl. I don't own that one. This one right here. So let me tell you, I saw the notes. And the notes did it for me. I don't have the notes written down, but the notes that I remember in my head, the reason why I had to take myself downtown New York to the Parfums & Marley store to buy this fragrance. I smelled it in store, guys, okay? I smelled it in store. It wasn't blind. This wasn't blind at all. Like, I fully saw <laughs> when I purchased this one right here. Like, my eyes was wide open, okay? Um, so I purchased it from the Parfums & Marley store downtown in New York. But the notes had me running, guys. Some citruses, there's orange blossom, there's whipped cream, there's marshmallows. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw these notes was by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. And you guys know that is my love. Like, I absolutely love that fragrance. Now, this fragrance does not smell like it, but it's so super sweet. And I just wanna rip her open because I haven't smelled it since I smelled it in store. And can we talk about this hot pink packaging? Like seriously guys, like look at look at this. Look at this color. Like it's everything guys. Like it's oh my goodness, perfume is a Marley. Why you do this to me? Why? Why you do this to me? I didn't have plans on buying anything right now. Not buying this. But guys, the notes the scent the bottle listen just just look just look at this beauty guys just look she is so beautiful i mean if this isn't giving me barbie vibes like guys oh oh my goodness this right here I'm gonna have to spray this on my skin. <sighs> Look at this. Okay, I sprayed that hand. Now I was waiting. There's nothing on this hand right here. You twist the nozzle, get it right. You let it dry down just a little something. Now listen to me, I cannot speak to you about performance, okay? I have no clue, okay? Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. I have no clue on what this performance is gonna do. But what I do know is the scent is everything. Everything, everything. If you love a sweet, I mean, it almost smells like candy. I mean, it's just, guys, it smells so good. It smells so good. Now, if you wanna wait until I come back to you with the review and, you know, put it in a video and let you guys know about performance, the longevity, the sillage, you know, projection, compliment factor. First of all, this is gonna get compliments. She is definite, definitely, it almost smells like a little bubble gum-ish. Like, I need to spray again, honey. <laughs> I just want to, seriously, I just want to douse myself in this. Like, it smells sweet. It smells floral. It smells like bubblegum. 
it has nothing it doesn't smell anything like love don't be shy okay let me just say that in my opinion i'm not getting love don't be shy it smells like i'm getting a little bubble gum it's sweet it's floral it's so good it's so so good there's citruses it's fresh now i don't think first of all i will be wearing it in the fall and the winter <laughs> best believe i don't care how cold it gets she will be getting worn but I honestly think this is an all year round fragrance. This would be beautiful in the spring and the summer. Definitely shining in the spring and the summer as well. But guys, it smells so good. It's super sweet. So if you love a sweet fragrance, like this is a man pleaser right here. Like this one right here, like I told you guys that Bay wasn't really feeling the, the Kayali um, invite only 20, 28, 23 amber fragrance on me. But this one, this is one that he will absolutely love because this is right up his alley. Something sweet, something playful, something feminine. Oh, it's so pretty, guys. It's so, so pretty. Now, even just on my hand, I'm not feeling like it's going to project that much because I have to, like, my hand is all the way up to here, to my nose, to smell it. Like, from here, right now, I'm not smelling it. But then again, I've been smelling stuff all day. Like, I've been spraying stuff in the air from Tiziana to did i spray the mark jacobs i'm not sure but i've been smelling stuff okay so i'm not sure if that's the reason why but i just know that i absolutely love this it was love at first sniff first of all i saw the notes and it was like reading the notes i was in love okay because i love orange blossom i love citruses i love marshmallows i love um there's musk i believe there's vanilla in this fragrance as well uh, whipped cream like it's just beautiful guys just like how the bottle looks it smells like that like very bright and uplifting and happy and just sweet and sexy you know sexy in a playful flirtatious type of way yeah she's gonna bring the boys all to the yard okay so this is uh oriana right oriana oriana by parfums and marley so oh my goodness Hey guys, so after I left the Parfum Somali store, then I had to go across the street to the Killian store and I purchased a few fragrances from Killian. Let's start with one of the fragrances that I've been wanting for such a long time, but I've never pulled the trigger until that day. <laughs> so this is Do It For Love, guys. Can you see that? Oh, you can't see that, but whatever. So let's open it here and I did smell it in the store, but I was just waiting for the video to open it with you guys. So now this one is exclusive to Bergdorf Goodman in New York. You can purchase it on um, the Killian website and also at the Killian Boutique. So you do get this beautiful case, do it for love. Can you see that? Yes. Opens up. We have, oh, actually I'll spray the fragrance on here. Guys, I've been telling you, if you remember, like I've been telling you that I have been obsessed with Killian lately. Like I've just been on a Killian kick. Those are the fragrances that I wore the most this summer. I mean, I wear, like I pretty much rotate my fragrances, but I've been wearing a lot of Killian. So here's the bottle for Do It For Love. It's such a cute bottle, same, you know, but it has these red lips on it that I absolutely love. This was made, um, I believe in my, like, Killian's friend, like one of his close friends. She's like the marketing director or something of Bergdorf. I'm not sure, but you know, don't quote me. <laughs> but let's spray this card. Mm. It's so good. Now this right here, now this is a beast. She's strong. This is definitely a beast. I don't know the notes. Are the notes in this card? Let me see. No. No notes in this card. But this is a beautiful scent, guys. I cannot wait to wear this and play with this a little bit more and give you guys some more information on this fragrance, obviously, because this is just, you know, not a first impressions because I actually smelled it in store, but this is actually my first time spraying my bottle. I haven't worn it anywhere yet. I can't tell you guys anything about performance or, you know, the whole spiel, like what we do. But I will be coming back to you guys and giving you some more information on this fragrance. It smells amazing though. And it's very strong. Like I can tell you that when I left the store, like I had this on my hands and this was on me the whole time. 
So definitely a beautiful fragrance and I love this bottle and I'm so happy to be adding to my Killian collection. Okay, so now let's get into the next Killian purchase. This is Rolling in Love. You guys remember, and I did open this, um, like I actually wore this. <laughs> because you guys know like anything almondy nutty like i absolutely love it so if you guys remember like earlier was it last year i'm not sure but i did tell you guys that i smelled this when i purchased um my angel share i smelled this fragrance and i was not feeling it i don't know i don't know what it was that day like i think i was just smelling way too many fragrances because i smelled it and it was a no but guys she is everything <laughs> everything nutty almonds listen give me all of the almonds okay give me all the almonds roast them toast them give me them bitter give me them sweet just give them to me okay Give me the almond, give me the milk, give me the creaminess, just give it to me. And that is what this is right here. There's also tuberose in this fragrance, I believe. Guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. I absolutely love it. I will come to you with notes and, you know, more like information on it. But today I just wanted to show you guys what I got. And look at this beautiful, I mean, this bottle is so sexy. These Killian bottles, I mean, like, just, guys, just look. It's so beautiful. But yeah, guys, definitely, I'm so excited to have this in my collection for fall. I will be wearing this as the weeks get a little bit cooler. And honestly, like, this is an all-year-round scent for me. Like, I would wear this summer date night, spring date night, fall, you know, whenever. <laughs> you know what I mean? I will reserve it for, like, more special occasions, I guess. But it can be worn daily, you know? But it's such a pretty, nutty, beautiful almond tuberose scent. And I love it. Rolling in Love by Killian. Okay, so next we have In the City of Sin. And this is another exclusive to the New York Boutique fragrance. Um, but the thing is, they don't make... I think you said they don't make the bottle anymore. Or they just didn't have it. So I have to get the travel size. So that's what this is. And I don't own any of the, you know, the travel sizes by Killian. So it was cool to have it because that way, you know, this means that I don't have to decant. But here's the packaging. I won't have to decant. You know, I can just have it. And, and I got the white and the gold. Pull this out. These are so hard to come out. And I believe there's four. Yes. So here we have one that's already in there right here just slip that in and this this packaging is so cute guys i've always seen people with them and i actually really love it it looks like lipstick you can't really see the detail on it maybe from the side you can see like slight details of it but it's so pretty now let's smell this one because i've never smelled this at Saks. i've never actually seen this at Saks. i've never seen this at bergdorf Mm, yes yes it's so good guys it's like a little fresh but still appropriate for fall all i know is it's good like it's just good okay like just trust and believe me when i tell you in the city of sin so i have three more in here there's one in here i believe it's 30 mil like all together if i'm not mistaken but it's so beautiful and I can get more refills of this, you know, of not necessarily this if I didn't want to, but any Killian fragrance. And I do have some Love Don't Be Shies and Good Girl Gone Bads in this that I got from another sales associate at Saks that gave them to me free. So they can all just fit in here. And it's perfection. Look at that. So yeah, so that's, um, what is this? I was about to say do it for love. What's your name, Eels? What's your name, Eels? In the City of Sin, yes. So, In the City of Sin by Killian. Okay, so the last Killian fragrance that we have on the list is Apple Brandy on the Rocks. And I was so excited about this fragrance, guys, because I smelled the original Apple Brandy. And I wanted to love it, but it was too masculine for me. It was too much for me. I just couldn't do it. Like, I seriously couldn't do it. But I love the idea of it. So when the rocks, the apple brandy on the rocks was coming out, I was like, hmm, maybe I can do that one. You know what I mean? Like, this one I believe has ginger. I think it has a ginger note in it. Am I lying? I don't know. But we'll talk about it another day. But 
for today. So I already ripped the packaging off because as you can see, I just can't wait. Guys, look at this. I mean, seriously, I'm about to have a whole Killian bar. Like, I'm going to have to get my liquor license messing with Killian, okay? <laughs> because I'm definitely going to have a Killian bar. Oh, as you can see, like my clock, listen, you guys know I'm going through changes, okay? There's changes going around all around me, okay? But I promise you will be seeing it. I will reveal it to you guys. But let's spray this apple brandy on the rocks. <sighs> this was love at first sniff. I initially smelled it at Bergdorf. They didn't have it yet to sell. So I took myself over to the Killian Boutique downtown because the one on Madison Avenue is now closed in New York. So I believe it's on, um, I'm not sure, but it's downtown Manhattan. It's right across the street from the Park Museum of Marley store. Um, it's in the meatpacking district. So another one that I'm going to have to sit with and wear, like I haven't worn this one yet because I feel like it's not cold enough. Like honestly, it's like, it's not even fall yet. It's still summer. You know, we're in September, but the fall didn't start yet until the end of the month. So when it starts to get a little cooler or maybe at night, like one, you know, date night, I'll probably wear it. But I'm still trying to get in my wares of my, you know, summer fragrances because we have like seriously like fall is going to be here for a while. Fall and winter. Like I don't really split up my fragrances between fall and winter. Whatever I'm wearing in the fall, I'm wearing in the winter too. So, you know, is if it's not too cold, you know, I have some that I wear when it's not super, super cold. But for the most part, I mean, I'm just wearing the fragrances between, you know, both seasons, fall and winter. So I have time, you know, there's no rush. I'm not rushing it right now. Um, but, you know, I will be talking to you guys about these fragrances. I'll have them in some videos. I want to wear them for a while. You know, I like to wear my fragrances like a lot before I bring them to you guys so I can really have you know some real concise strong information for you because i may wear it one day and my body may do one thing my body chemistry will change and maybe that time of the month who knows you know there's so many different factors that go into body chemistry fragrances will react different to you on some days like one day a long lasting fragrance may not last that long on you another day it may be like super beast mode like you just never know so i need to wear it multiple multiple days to give you guys a real like okay this is what this fragrance is doing. So I will be coming back to you guys with a review on these beautiful fragrances. Okay guys, so we've come to the end of the video and I'm so excited to play with my new fragrances. They're like literally like new toys. Like I'm so happy and excited and especially that I've opened them now on camera with you guys and I can actually like wear them and like, you know, test them out. I'm not decanting anything just yet because I just want to wear it for the whole entire day on its own. You know, like that's the hard part for me. Like just not being able to top off my fragrances because I'm the top off queen. Like give me the top off okay so thank you guys for watching today's video let me know what fragrances you guys are purchasing for the fall like i absolutely love each season like i just like to get a few bottles each season just to you know freshen up the collection every season it doesn't have to be a new release you know what i mean it can be something that was released five years ago but if it's new to my collection then it's new okay so let me know what you guys are wearing what are you guys excited to wear what have you guys been picking up let's talk about it i love our fragrance chats so remember guys to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI The Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.